Most people use Cloud Code like a co-pilot, but if you know the right setup, you can turn it into a full dev team. In this video, I'll show you how to make Cloud Code smarter, faster, and way more useful with sub-agents, hooks, and custom commands working together. Let's start with a feature that turns Cloud Code from one assistant into a full team of specialists, sub-agents. Sub-agents let you create focused AI roles, each with its own goal, system prompt, and separate context. Instead of overloading your main cloud chat with everything, you give each task its own agent. Focus is power. Let me show you. We'll call this one test writer. Its prompt will be write unit tests for a frontend component in Jest. Now I can write in the chat, write the component logic, then pass it to the test writer for test coverage. Cloud code will delegate it clean, focused, and fast. Don't worry, we already created a full tutorial on sub-agents, I'll put a link in the description. Why this is powerful? One of the main reasons for devastating chats with cloud code and hallucinations is the wide context each chat includes. Using each agent with separate context will lead to better results. Okay, so now cloud code can split up the work, but what if it could also follow your routines automatically? Here come the hooks. Hooks let you run shell commands automatically when Cloud Code does certain things. Think of them like an event listener in your workflow. Here's an example. Every time Cloud edits a file, I want to auto run the linter and tests. For this use case, I'm going to use the post tool use and I'm going to do it for every edit. Now, whenever Cloud edits a file, this script runs without me asking. In Anthropic's documentation, you can find all the types that are possible for hooks. The most useful are pre-tool use and post-tool use like we used in this example. I recommend that you don't exaggerate with hooks, too many hooks will slow you down. Okay, Cloud has teammates and routines, but what if it could summon the perfect prompt with just one command? Time to talk about custom slash commands. These are your reusable prompt commands. You write a prompt once and reuse it in any time with a single command. Let's say I often want Cloud Code to review my code for security issues. We're going to create securityreview.md under cloud slash commands. Review the following code for common security vulnerabilities, suggest improvements and highlight risky patterns. The command name will be like the file's name. So I just need to type security review. Make sure to restart your cloud session when you create new custom commands. Why it matters. No more rewriting the same prompt over and over again, especially when they are working fine. Before I show you how to take custom commands to the next level, if you like the contact, it will mean the word to me if you liked and subscribed to our channel. Let's continue. There is a fascinating open source repo called Awesome Cloud Code. It includes more than 80 ready-made slash commands for testing, reviewing, debugging, documenting, and more. You just clone it and copy the .md files into your cloud commands folder, use them as is, or tweak the prompt to fit your style. Let's put it all together. I'll share how I use sub-agents, hooks, and slash commands in real SaaS projects I'm working on. A few days ago, I had to refactor this messy old React component from one of the earliest builds. It had barely any test and way too much logic jammed into a single function. Instead of doing it all manually, I used the test writer sub-agent. In this agent, I added all the test patterns that we are using. I has cloud code to clean up the logic and while it handled the refactor, test writer took care of the unit test in parallel. As soon as the edits were done, a post tool use hook automatically triggered and ran our linter. No context switching, no forgetting, I just focused on the big picture and Cloud Code handled the flow. The next example will be useful for any developers who works with Cloud Code on a real project. In one of our repositories, we have this core file called pricingrules.ts that defines how discounts and pricing tiers work across the platform. It's super sensitive, any wrong edit can mess with real revenue. So instead of relying on Cloud Code to know better, I wrote the pre-tool use hook that blocks any edits on this specific file unless I explicitly allow it. It's a simple gate, but it turns Cloud Code from helpful assistant into a tool I can actually trust. The next use case makes update dependencies easy. Every few weeks, I run a batch of dependencies update across our monorepo. But I don't trust the Cloud Code to just update everything blindly. So I created a custom slash command called update dependencies. The most important part in this prompt is its last instruction. When you finish with the installation, run tester agent to run all our unit tests. This way, whenever Cloud Code finishes modifying package.json or running an update, it ensures we don't break anything. 
Taking Cloud Code to the next level is great, but mastering token usage is how you unlock real efficiency. If you are ready for that, the next video is for you.